Airplanes are full of hidden features you've probably walked past a hundred times. Some are just clever design tricks, but others could actually save your life. Most passengers have no idea they're even there. And let's be honest, airlines aren't going out of their way to tell you. You'll learn why one tiny swirl painted on an engine could stop a deadly accident, and why a hook bolted to the wing could be your lifeline in an emergency. Here are 13 airplane secrets you'll wish you knew sooner. On almost every flight, there could be someone armed, and you'd never know. Air marshals blend in perfectly with regular passengers. They often sit in aisle seats near the front or just behind the cockpit. Their job is to be close enough to respond instantly to any threat. They board early, rarely drink alcohol, and keep their carry-on small. But here's the key. They'll never reveal themselves unless it's absolutely necessary. If you think you've spotted one, keep it to yourself. Calling them out could put everyone at risk. When those yellow masks drop, most people imagine they're hooked up to big oxygen tanks. They're not. What you're breathing comes from a device called a chemical oxygen generator. It creates oxygen through a small, controlled chemical reaction. Basically, a tiny, safe explosion. That's why the masks can keep flowing for about 12 to 20 minutes. You might think every passenger jet is brand new and cutting edge, but some planes flying today first took to the skies decades ago. There are Boeing jets from the 1970s still in active service. Want to check yours? Look for the tail number near the back of the plane or on the boarding door. Type it into an aircraft database and you'll find its exact age, sometimes older than you. Despite the name, airplane black boxes aren't black at all. They're bright orange. That color makes them easier to spot in wreckage. They're built to survive crashes, extreme heat, and deep ocean pressure. Inside is a beacon that sends out a locator signal for up to 30 days. And there are actually two recorders, one for flight data and one for cockpit audio. Ever notice those small metal hooks above the airplane's wings? They're not for decoration. They're part of an emergency escape system. In a water landing, ropes attach to those hooks to guide passengers out safely. They stop people from slipping off the wet wing before rescue boats arrive. Most travelers never notice them until they really matter. Look closely at a jet engine and you might see a white spiral painted on the spinner. It's not for style. It's a life-saving warning for ground crew. When the engine is running, that spiral becomes a fast-spinning blur. It's a clear signal to stay away from the deadly suction zone. One wrong step too close, and the force can pull a person in instantly. It sounds strange, but airplanes actually have horns, just not for honking at other pilots. They're used on the ground to alert maintenance crews or signal inside the cockpit. The sound is loud, short, and unmistakable. More like a buzzer than a car horn. You'll never hear it mid-flight, but on the tarmac, it's a vital communication tool. Ever notice those small grooves above the overhead bins? They're actually hidden handrails for flight attendants. During turbulence, they grip these rails to move safely through the cabin. It keeps them steady and prevents them from falling into passengers' laps mid-flight. Some seats have hidden perks most passengers never notice. On certain long-haul planes, the wall curves just enough to give extra shoulder space. Aisle seats often have a hidden button under the armrest to lift it up for more room. And in rare layouts, the middle seat is actually slightly wider than the others. On advanced aircraft like the Airbus A350, cabin lights aren't just for ambiance. They use special LED systems that mimic sunrise and sunset patterns. This, uh, actually tricks your body's internal clock to adjust faster to new time zones. It's a subtle detail that can make long-haul flights feel far less exhausting. Some planes are built to carry cargo so massive it can't fit through regular doors. The Boeing 747 freighter can swing its entire nose open for loading, and the legendary Antonov An-225 once hauled train cars, turbines, even other planes. These giants are the heavy lifters of the skies, and honestly, they rarely carry passengers. 
Airplane tires hit the runway at speeds over 150 miles per hour. They're inflated to about six times the pressure of a car tire, but they still don't burst. That's because they're made from special conductive rubber that prevents static buildup. And instead of one giant tire, planes use multiple smaller ones to spread the force. Imagine if, in an emergency, the entire passenger cabin could separate from the plane. It's a real engineering proposal, complete with parachutes for a safe descent. The idea has been tested in prototypes, but cost, weight, and complexity have kept it grounded. Still, it's a glimpse at how future aircraft might handle the ultimate safety challenge. Airplanes are one of the most advanced ways to travel. But let's be honest, most people still don't know half the secrets. The ones that make flying easier, cleaner, and more comfortable. So whether it's your first flight or your hundredth, here are seven simple air travel tips you'll wish someone told you sooner. Let's start with something chilly, literally. Window seats are great for the view, but did you know they're also noticeably colder? The air outside the plane can drop to minus 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That external cold transfers through the plane's walls and the window seats? They get the worst of it, especially during summer when you're dressed light. If you love sitting by the window, layer up or just ask the crew for a blanket. Simple fix, major comfort upgrade. Next, let's talk about what you're drinking. Hot drinks like coffee or tea? You might want to skip them. Here's why. The water used to make them often isn't clean. It comes from tanks that are rarely sanitized properly. Studies found E. coli and staph bacteria in that water. Some flight attendants refuse to drink it themselves. So if they're avoiding it, maybe you should too. Instead, ask for bottled water or juice. Much safer, much smarter. Here's something you probably don't want to hear. The dirtiest spots on the entire plane? They're not the bathrooms, they're the tray tables and seat back pockets. Yeah, those pockets in front of you? They're full of trash from previous passengers, used tissues, food wrappers, random junk, and tray tables. Flight attendants say people actually change diapers on them. Diapers! So do yourself a favor, bring disinfectant wipes, keep your stuff in your bag, and never, never put food directly on the tray. If you get to pick your flight time, always go with a morning flight. Here's why. Delays stack up as the day goes on. The earlier you fly, the fewer problems from ripple effect delays. It's also smoother in the air. Morning flights usually hit less turbulence. So if you hate bumpy rides or running late, fly early. You'll thank yourself. Let's talk seats. Not just legroom or views, but service. If you sit toward the back of the plane, you might actually get better attention from the crew. Why? Because it's easier for them to offer extras discreetly. Snacks, drinks, even blankets. They can help you without everyone else seeing. Up front, everything has to look equal. In the back, it's VIP treatment, without anyone knowing. Sure, you'll deplane later, but you might get treated better while you're on board. Got a travel pillow? Awesome, but don't inflate it all the way. Cabin pressure changes mid-flight, and if your neck pillow's pumped to the max, it might actually burst or just get really uncomfortable. Leave a little air inside, just enough to support your neck without turning it into a balloon. Comfy, safe, smart. Let's talk airplane food. Most people just accept the standard meal, chicken or pasta. But did you know you can choose a special meal in advance? Vegetarian, kosher, seafood, gluten-free. And here's the kicker, they're usually better, often fresher, served before the regular meals, and sometimes way more flavorful. You don't need a dietary restriction to request one. Just choose it when you check in online. Free upgrade, no strings attached, more choice, better food, easy win. Shorts might seem like the comfy choice, but the cabin seats? Not exactly clean. Hundreds of people sit on them every week and most airlines don't deep clean in between flights. Your bare skin is touching whatever the last person left behind. Not to mention sudden temperature drops mid-air. Trust me, jeans or joggers are your best bet. Stay clean, stay warm, stay sane. Flying internationally? Here's one thing people forget every single time. A pen. You'll need to fill out customs forms, entry cards, and declarations. And when the flight attendants hand them out, everyone starts asking around for a pen. Be the prepared one. Bring one. Use it. Save time.
Avoid that awkward pen hunting shuffle at 3 a.m. Hate turbulence? Here's a trick that pilots swear by. Book your seat over the wing. That part of the plane is more stable during flight. You'll feel fewer bumps compared to the back or nose. It's the plane's center of gravity. So next time you're choosing a seat, aim for the wing. Less shaking, more relaxing. Before you even get to the airport, download your airline's app. Why? It gives you live updates on gate changes, delays, boarding zones, and baggage info. Some even let you rebook a canceled flight instantly. No waiting in line, no customer service drama. Plus, you'll usually get your boarding pass right on your phone. More control, less chaos. Here's a hydration hack most travelers still don't use. Bring an empty reusable bottle through security. Fill it up at a fountain or bottle station near your gate. Boom, free water. No need to pay $5 for a tiny plastic bottle. And you stay hydrated without depending on tiny drink cups. Don't trust airport outlets. They're either all taken or not working. And once your phone dies, so does your access to boarding passes, directions, or ride shares. Bring a power bank. Keep it charged. It's one of the smartest things you can toss in your carry-on. Planning your trip? Search for flights in incognito or private browsing mode. Airline websites and travel platforms track your searches, and sometimes they increase prices if they think you're coming back. Incognito keeps your searches clean and price hikes away. Clear your cookies, too, just to be safe. When picking your seat, don't just guess. Use a seat map site like Seat Guru. It'll show you which seats have extra legroom, which ones don't recline, which ones are right next to the bathroom. Yikes! A few seconds of research can make your whole flight way 